This is two truths and a lie. Right. Okay? Yeah. Three statements, two are true, obviously one's a lie. 2021, you had the third best birdie conversion rate on tour. True. <laughs> I know it all, Charlie. <laughs> switching into the new version of TP5X. So I think it, it was it was the best of both worlds. I, I had a little little less spin with the driver, which was great. Um, I had a touch less spin with the irons, which was good. Hi, I'm Roy McElroy, and this is Two Truths and a Lie. Carry on from rough situations that you starred in last year. <laughs> Fortunately, as you can see, this one might be a little bit easier, but I don't want to break too much. This is two truths and a lie. Right. Okay. Yeah. Three statements, two are true. Obviously, one's a lie. Okay. In 2021, you had the third best birdie conversion rate on tour. True. I like what you're doing here, but you don't have to go straight away. You can hear more if you want. All right, okay. No, no, I like okay, that. Okay, no, it's your yeah. show, mate. You yeah. saw it. In 2021, <laughs> you ranked third on tour in average birdies. Just like I would, you want No, to? I, false. I'll tell you what, we don't even need the third lie. one. That's perfect. You yeah. ranked because you ranked. There's no pull in the ball over you. your eyes. <laughs> I know it all, Charlie. <laughs> so, just to cap it off, in 2019, you made an average of 4.49 birdies per round, second on tour. True. Who beat you? DJ? I don't know. Brooks? You, you know Maybe all. Brooks? Damn them. Yeah. But all birdies start from the tee. You're a master off the tee. 3.49. I want to see some magic here. I, I actually said to you coming up, I think you can easily get there. I is this I even can. a big one for you? It is. I mean, it's downwind, yeah. So how do you fun. crank a big one? How do you? So I've got I've got to tee it up a little higher than normal. Um, I'll put it a little bit further up. I feel like putting it further up in your stance, it just gives you that little bit extra time to create a touch more speed. Yeah. Um, and basically, yeah, you just try and throw everything out. I mean, for me, it's more, it's, it's like right hip, right pocket, whatever it is, just throwing that sort of at the golf ball and then letting your arms sort of come through and just trying to create as much speed as possible. That's really what it is. Let's see one. It. Yeah. First thoughts, carbon wood, you into it? I love it. Yeah. You were hitting some beauties yesterday. Yeah, I have. I've hit some good ones already with it. So it should be down off the left, right? Yes. I think that's right. It's probably not getting there. It's a hell of a shot though. I want to just point out one more thing and I've got a question about it. You hover the blade quite often. It, it's like, your coach described it to me once as like getting a rocket launcher ready to go. <laughs> and I thought it was a pretty good analogy. What, yeah. What's that all about? The little hover and the tap? Yeah, it's, uh, it's me getting ready to go. I guess it's me like, like, I don't want to say, like the technical term would be like getting your nervous system excited. Yeah. Is sort of what it really is. But it's me just like, getting to a point where I'm like really comfortable to bring the club back and basically put everything I have into the into the shot. There's very little with you that goes by that you haven't calculated and measured. Like I read you the two truths and a lie and you know. Yeah. The same as that. I didn't think you were going to say, look, it's getting the nervous system ready. Have you actually, you, you have, haven't you? You've yeah, researched I mean, it. I, I, I'm like, I, I don't know if I maybe don't want to come across as like a, but I, I, like, I, lo I love the game and I love trying to get better and I like it's what I've always done and it, yeah. yeah I yeah it's my it's my life I enjoy it I you know I you know realized from a pretty young age that I had a talent at it and I just wanted to try to maximize it and were there any other sports as a kid as a young age or was it just this was the one I mean I played a few other sports as, as a kid but nothing I didn't think nothing could hold my attention like golf and nothing, yeah. I never, I didn't excel at anything like I did with golf. And that was always the way. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see one more then. All right. Just cause it's hard to put into words how great it is. Oh, that's the one. I knew it was in there. Drifting a touch right. 
349 though, it's right up there. Close. Do you want the last one? Sure. Why not? Why not? How many hours do you put into driving the golf ball on the range? Not as many as people think. Because um, this is a serious strength of your game. Yeah. And it's a well-publicized strength. Does that add pressure? Uh, no, you know, it's funny. Like, I work with Brad Faxon in my putting. I always say to him, do you ever feel under pressure to putt well when you play with people? Because that's what he's known for. Yeah. And he said to him, do you ever feel under pressure to drive it well? I said, well, no, I just drive it. I just hit the shots the way I want to hit them. And he goes, it's the same thing with me. And so I don't feel under pressure to live up to the expectations that I've set myself. I know if I just drive the ball the way I know I can, then it's good Money. enough, I guess. It's more than good enough. But it's, um, I think as well, like hitting a driver takes a lot out of your body as well. So yes, you put some time in and, but like, I don't stand for hours hitting drivers. I, I maybe in a practice session, I'll hit 25 drivers, but they're very purposeful. I'm trying to visualize what I'm trying to do with them. I'm trying to create a fairway on the range to keep it between this tree and that whatever flag or whatever it is. So it's always a very, it's always purposeful. You're always trying to put yourself under a little bit of pressure. Yeah. That's the one, right? That's actually, that was that was probably the worst strike. Like, I was off the toe, but it went pretty good. Is that up there? Uh, I don't know. Well, let's go check it out. We'll see. Second two truths and a lie. You can see already the lie is not money. I know we joked about it in rough situations, but to be fair, we'll assume alternate shot again, and I've put us here. Yep. Here you go. In 2021, you ranked first in scrambling from the rough. In 2019, you were fourth in scrambling from the rough. In 2021, you ranked seventh in proximity to the pin from the sand. There are two truths and one lie. Are you going for two for two? I think so. Okay. So I think first in scrambling from the rough in 2021 is a lie. These notes. You're yeah. too good at this. Yeah. You're too good at this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talk to us about this one. What what are you thinking? All right, so what do you, uh, put us here? What did you have? One what? One hundred eight. Hello. One hundred eight. One ten. One eleven. Got it because that. it wasn't my shot. I wasn't worried about it. Trusted you that much. One ten playing one fourteen. It says. Oh. Yeah. Is that because when you measure and you're, you're shorter, probably it plays more up. Let me just give it to you. I'll get out the way. You do it all. Call out the yardage. Yeah. <laughs> Plays see, up yeah, I guess if you're moving um, <laughs> I could stand on your shoulders if yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah. Pot, kettle, black. Um, yeah, 109 plan, 113. Okay, thank so you. So we've got a yard difference between your shoulder and your head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I've got a pitching wedge here because, like, the shot that I would play with the wind off the left is trying to just curve it around this tree that's sticking out here. So that's I've the, grabbed two golf balls out. Okay. One of them is Sergio's, so we can hit that. He's the same ball as you, TP5X. Yep. Yes. Any reason why you think the two of you are both in the TP5X? I know you play a bit of golf with him. You had um, conversations about it? Yeah, both both high spin players. Uh, both compress the ball quite a lot. Um, pretty high speed as well, which you know works with the TP5X. Yeah, and it, I think as well, this the 20... Uh, 21 version, I guess, of the TP5X is um, feels a little softer around the greens Definitely. than the previous one, which I think we both really like too. How was that transition between the two golf balls? Where did you feel switching into the new version of TP5X? What what came in? What came out? What did you? So I think it it was it was the best of both worlds. I I had a little little less spin with the driver, which was great. Um, I had a touch less spin with the irons, which was good because I felt sometimes the TP5, for me, with my speed, just spun up a little bit. Um, but it was as soft and reacted just as well as the TP5 around the greens. Okay. So it was... It was so you're getting everything you want, really. Pretty much, Love yeah. it. Yeah. So this shot, again, talk us through it. And, and uh, do you know what? We might even hit Sergio's, and we'll see which one you can get closer at the two. You're yep. going for a little 
chippy so little, one round. little chippy cut, yeah, with the wind off the left. Um, I feel like I can start this and move it enough that it pitches on the green, spins a bit to the right, use that slope. We're going to say we know there's yeah. a slope there. Yeah. Just needs to go. Wow, it's pretty. Ooh! Pretty damn good. Pretty nice damn spin good. On it. Any other options, or would you just go for the same zippy across one? <clears throat> yeah, I think that's the. I don't see any other. I don't see. I don't see a shot that's gonna maybe that's gonna get it closer. How quickly off the blade you were like, get up, needs to go a little bit. How yeah. quickly off the blade do you know that? Instantly? Instantly. Well, you see it in you see it in flight and it's maybe not quite as far as you want it to be when you look up. So you're like, oh no, that needs to go a little okay. bit. So well, let's see if we can get one in tighter than there. Yeah. High bounce wedge off the path as well. Yeah. Seems to go good. Like it? Yeah. That should be really love good. Love it? Yeah. Do you love it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. You loved it too much. I, I did. one more. What happened there? Might have been the Sergio ball, or is this one it? And this is it. I see the S. Has Sergio got some juiced up golf balls? He's just got his own logo on there, so we'll do him proud with this All right. one. All right. That should be good. Love? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Go on. So good. The magician. Nice. So good. <laughs>